Building this 400 plus gallon grow out system in my basement crawl space was one of the most satisfying things I've accomplished since I started in the aquarium hobby. I learned a ton and the end product was something I'm very proud of. But keeping this system in this space has become more trouble than it's worth. It works really well for growing out fish. But climbing up into this part of my basement every day, a place where I can't stand up completely straight, is taking a lot of the enjoyment out of keeping my fish room. This is why I've mentioned in a couple of recent videos that I've decided to sell it. So this week, I started the process of draining it and tearing it down. The first step was to set up the pump. This is how I've been doing water changes on the system. I have a hose on a cart with a quick disconnect fitting on one end and a pump on the other. I attach it to my drain line and pull the pump up into the crawl space. I started with the radial flow filter barrel. Once the first barrel was empty, I moved on to the first tub. While I was emptying, I decided to pump the water from the sump into this tub. This just allows me to get more of the water out in one shot. It's actually a faster pump than the one I'm using to empty the system, so this tub filled back up a bit. While I was going, I tried to multitask by removing some of the plumbing from the tubs. Once the water level was low enough, I started to net the fish. Then once the first tub was done, I repeated the process on the other side. I used some tubing to siphon the 8 foot acrylic tank into the tub just to avoid having to fit the pump into that tank. That was one nice thing about this process. There were so many things to do that I never had to sit around and wait for the water to drain. Once the second tub was low enough, I netted the fish on that side. The last major thing to drain was the moving bed barrel. While that was happening, I kept going on the plumbing, loosening the bulkhead on the overflow pipe for the acrylic tank. In many cases, I thought ahead and included unions that allowed me to disconnect everything quickly. I wish I had done that on the main drain bulkheads though, because I ended up having to cut those. It was not a lot of fun, but there was nothing else I could do. The uniseals are nice because the pipe just pulls right out. In every case, I used the pump to get the water as low as possible, but for the last bit of water, I just had to elevate one side of the tub and scoop it out into a bucket. I then wiped everything down with paper towels. I separated the filter barrels from each other and drained the remaining water from the moving bed filter into one of the tubs. This was much easier than trying to strain the K1 media. Again, same process, just elevate and scoop. There was a bit of water in the acrylic tank as well, so once it was scooped out, I just moved it on top of the tubs to make it easier to access and clean. The last of the water was in the sump, so I scooped it out, wiped it down, and finally reached a point where everything was dry. Breaking down the stand was pretty easy. I just removed the screws from the inner legs, and then the other legs. I didn't really see any reason to break down the top. It's not difficult to carry in one piece. I'm storing all of the plumbing in the sump for now. With everything drained and disassembled, it was time to start the fun part. Getting it out of the basement. I started with the easy stuff. The lids. The acrylic tank. the legs, and stand. The tubs were obviously more difficult. I got them in by myself so I knew I could get them out. But could I do it without damaging the tubs, 
or breaking the 2 inch PVC drain line that's right below the entrance to the crawl space? Unfortunately, the answer was yes to both questions, but I did take out my towel bar that's on the far end of my rack. It's just a curtain rod and can easily be fixed. The nice part is that once these tubs are on the ground, you can just roll them end over end. I did realize after I got the first tub out that it would be much easier to push it through the opening upside down. This avoids having the feet of the tub catch on the lip of the concrete. So tub number two went much faster. You may be wondering how I got them up the stairs and out of my basement. Well, the answer is, very carefully. I left the sump and filter barrels in the crawl space for now because I have a potential buyer for the rest. Worst case though, if that falls through, the hard part is over with. The tubs are in the garage and ready to go. Hopefully they'll be moving on to a new owner who has a better space for them because they truly do work really well. Thank you all for watching and until next time, have a good one.